Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 25th of September 2022. I hope you are enjoying your weekend. I've had a do-nothing weekend, absolutely just sat around doing nothing the whole time. In particular today, so yesterday at least I went out shopping and had to push the car out. Not push the car, I mean get the car out of the flooded area. But uh, today I've not even had to do that. But it's still wet around here, which means that I've had an excuse not to attempt gardening, <laughs> which I'm not very good at anyway. I always kill things. Even plastic flowers don't survive with me. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the Los Angeles Times expert level Sudoku game, shall we? Uh, there's a couple of things I can see already. Let's, let's get put these sevens going across here and sevens going up these columns giving me a seven in that square there we have sevens going up here across here and down here so that will be a seven just there We have fives going. I saw this while I was talking to you and I, forgot, I lost it again. Okay, fives blocking like that, so we get ourselves a five there. Five also blocks up what I didn't see. Five blocking up here, so this would be a five then. Five up this column, up this column here, and across there. So this is a five. Oh, there's a very squeaky bicycle hooter. That is, uh, I'm just. I'm, I'm trying to remember what that denotes. You know, uh, each vendor has their own uh, thing, sound that they make uh, when they come around. I mean, it's a bit like a, in the West they use those ice cream vans that play their own jingles for a different brand of ice cream. But actually, here we have like a, a wooden claves, dock, dock, dock kind of sound for noodles. Uh, we have a, a ding, ling, ling, bicycle bell sound for. Uh, ice cream that's made from coconut milk. Uh, the tooting horn. Oh, I think actually that's uh, roti, as we call it here in Thailand, an Indian word, um, which is uh, basically a thin pancake that you can have either with egg or with banana or something like that, or condensed milk. The, 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 the Thai's favorite condensed milk. Uh, super sweet condensed milk. Um, yeah, I just remember what it is. That's what it is. And uh, they are usually Indian, um, or like I mean, Thais, but but of Indian descent quite often. Um, that sell them, and they always carry. They always come around on a bicycle, uh, all across Thailand. Very popular. Also, uh, nut sellers are often Indians as well, or of Indian descent, I should say. I have no idea if they're Thais or not. They do speak Thai, but they also speak another language. Don't know what that language is though. Um, generally. Right, we have twos blocking across like so. Oops, let's do that again. And the two blocking up here. So let's put two into that square there. We have nines blocking across these two rows here, putting a nine up there. Uh, let's see what's missing from this column here, and then we can see what goes in here if we might get something. Uh, what we are lacking is four, six, and nine, and we've got one one each of those, four, six, and nine. Okay, and they go there. So if that's four, six, and nine, this has to be one and three. One and three, one and three. We also have one and three blocking up here. So one and three block across here. So actually we've discovered a pair of one and three in this square here. In these squares here, I should say. Okay, so now we've got sevens blocking across these two rows. So that has to be a seven 
in that square there, then we can say 7 is blocking down here and across these two rows that's giving me a 7 just there. 7 is actually complete now. Okay, that's a good start. Uh, let's come back and think about this again. So I said 1 and 3. So what else do we know? 1 and 3. We can see 5s are in these two squares, which we could see anyway. Uh, 1 and 3, 5, so that's 5, F oh, 4 blocks across here, okay, that's the 4 then. Okay, so now 4 blocking this square, 4 blocking this square, this must be a 4 here. 9 blocking this square, that gives us a 9 there, and the last number is a 6, just here. Now 6 blocking across this row, 6 across this row gives us a 6 here. We have ones blocking this row and this row, so one must go here. Now, one blocking up here, so this is one in one of these two squares, so blocking upwards. So this is a one, but also, look, sixes block these two columns as well. So these two squares must only contain one or six, can't be anything else. Now what do we know? We know that the eight blocks across here, so eight in those squares, eight down here and 8 here, so this has got to be 8, right? Okay. And the last number to get up here is a 6, I think. Okay, 6 blocking down here and 6 across here. That's our 6. 6 across this row and this row, that's our 6. There's 6 up here and 6 across here puts a 6 into that square. 6 across and across and up puts a 6 here, and we know that this is a 1, because we said 6 and 1 in those squares, so we can immediately put in our 1, um, one, one. Uh, okay, across here we are lacking 1, 4 and 5, 1 and 5 um, block this square, so this can't be 1, can't be 5, it must be a 4. Our 1 and 5 are here, so we also need uh, 2, 4 and 8. Do we know anything about 2, 4 or 8? We know that the 8s are here, so the 8s are there. The 2 and the 4, okay, 2 blocks up here. So this must be 8 or 2, and this must be 4. So 4 across here, 4 across here. Gives us a 4 in that square there. 2 blocking up here puts a 2 into that square. 1 is the last number to get there. 1 blocking down here gives us a 1 here. The missing digit here is a 3, as we already knew. Uh, let's see, what do we need down here? We need a 4 and we need a 3. A 3 and a 4, anything over here to help us with 3 or 4? I don't think so. Uh, so here we are looking for 8 and 9, I think. Ah, so that I think, hold on, 4 and 9. Oh no, there's four missing numbers. I thought there were only three missing numbers. Okay, missing. Actually, what's missing? Uh, three, four, eight, nine. Right. No, not quite. Um, uh, let's have a look, two, oh, two blocks across here, so, and two blocks across here now, so in fact we can place a two there, two blocking up here, two across here, that gives us a two, the last digit for this row is an eight, eight down here, eight across here, this is our eight, the last number to get here is a five, 
five blocking up here puts a five into that square there one is the last missing number aha now this can't be a one it's got to be a three remember we had one and three in these squares so the three is there the one is there three blocks down here this is our three now three across here and three down here puts a three into that square and the last number to get down here is a four i think Okay, four blocks here, so this will be a four, and the last number here is a nine. Nine back this direction gives us a nine here, and eight is the last number to get there. Right, almost done, aren't we? Very fast game here. Four blocks across here, oops, and four blocks down here, so that is a four. The last digit to get here is an eight, I think. From this column, I forgot what it is. Is it a six? No, it's not a six. Three. Three, I think it's a three, isn't it? Yeah. And the last number to get here is then a nine. So now we have nine blocking up this column and across this row. So that's our nine. And uh, the missing digit from here is a three. Three blocking up here, that's a three. The last digit to get here is an eight. Eight blocking down here, this is our eight. And a one will finish today's game, so uh, not at all bad. Uh, fairly straightforward game, uh, maybe slightly easier than the other two games, including the Observer today, I think, possibly. Uh, anyway, that's the expert level finished. Uh, enjoy whatever you're doing, whether it's lunch or having an aperitif or, uh, I don't know, whatever you're doing, or just about to snooze, whichever. Bye-bye.